And that's the game. Thank you for watching me play it. It's a very good game. I do recommend you at least try to play it. I love it. I love the entire thing. I love the themes. I love the ending. I love the beginning. I love the gameplay. I love the characters. I love the... Well, I don't really like the companions. Except for Dogmeat. He's pretty awesome. And I... Despite... His... Attire. If you'd call it that. I love the end boss. And I love this song. Fallout actually introduced me to a good few songs. I'd recommend you listen to them. This is the Ink Spots, by the way. Maybe. They continue this tradition throughout the other Fallout games, I believe. Fallout 3 has I Don't Want to Set the World on Fire as the intro, which originally this game wanted to use for its intro, but copyrights, something happened. They had to use the song instead. A lot of people don't like Fallout 3 as compared to, I guess, these games, but I think it's just as good, if not offering a different perspective on the way Fallout is played. It's very well done. And I think not, not just emulating these games, they take what these games do and just put it on a higher level. And I truly enjoy it. And yes, I will be playing Fallout 2. Just not anytime soon because I haven't beaten it yet. But it looks just as good as this one, if not better. I've heard Fallout 2 is the best in the Fallout series. Now, as for tactics and the other Fallout games, they aren't considered very canon. There are some major points in Fallout tactics that are considered canon, major plot points, and then there's the Brotherhood, I believe it was called, for the PS2. I could play it. I could. I mean, I know where it is. I can buy it easily. And it's only about $3. But I've heard it's not a very good game. And, um... Hold on, I have to sneeze. Uh... Never mind, I guess I don't have to. Um... Yeah, I've heard the brother the Brotherhood game isn't very good. It isn't much of an RPG, more like a shoot 'em up in the third person, I believe. Such as Fallout Tactics isn't a traditional RPG. It's more of a tactical RPG, sort of. I played a little bit of Tactics. I thought it was kind of weird. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yes, I really did enjoy this game. I hope you enjoyed it. And, well, there are, uh, I did skip a little bit of the ending at the beginning there. Sorry about that. But it's nothing much. You didn't miss anything. And there's actually another way to beat the boss. Two other ways, actually. One way actually has you not fighting him or talking to him at all. There is to the left, well, your character's right. Instead of going to the left to the master, now I'm talking the point of the character here, you can go the other way and head through a bunch of mutants, uh, lockpick a door with your electronic lockpick. Yes, that's the only time you have to use that electronic lockpick. And then unlock an elevator and then unlock one last door and you will have to kill two super mutants. Or nightkin and then there's the bomb that's underneath the uh, cathedral that you can set to blow up and then just run out that's a very interesting way of ending the game I think and then the other way is just if you can't talk the master down you can just kill him which is some people say it's hard I mean I guess it is if you don't have power armor and um, the turbo plasma rifle or laser gatling gun or anything good 
because it const there's a constant spawn of nightkin, I believe. And the soup the master can kill you in one hit if he's lucky. You know, critical critical with Gatling guns always kills you in one hit. That's one thing I don't like about this game. Even if you're wearing power armor, it'll hurt a lot. Unless you have a lot of health. If you have a lot of health, you might survive. I believe a critical does around 130, 113, something like that, from the Gatling gun from just a normal super mutant. I don't know what a critical does from the overseer's chair that the Richard Gray was in. Poor Richard Gray. Had to put up with all that. And then just blew himself up. Kind of feel sorry for him. So yes, Richard Gray was Harold's friend, and he was dumped into a vat and was in there far too long. Eventually he just started melding with stuff and absorbing things. And those vats were the forced evolutionary virus. You know what's weird though? Even though I got the bad ending, uh, excuse me, they showed the vats from the vat from the military base that I destroyed. How did they get? Anyway, I digress. I don't. It's not important. I think that maybe maybe a time paradox or something. But I do believe you can finish this game in any order you want. You don't have to go to the military base first. I just chose to. You can actually go kill the leader first, which is the master. And then you can go to the military base. You also can... That overseer there who kicks you out again... Um, you can shoot him. Yeah, if you've got the bad karma perk or, or something. Bloody mess perk, that's it. If you got that, your character will shoot him. And it's kind of funny. Sort of. Demented way. And um, if you choose combat, your character will shoot him. It's pretty interesting. I suggest you try it at least once, because the Overseer kind of deserves it. He's... If you didn't get it by now, he's just trying to kick you out the entire game. Hey, uh, Vault Dweller. Yes, you, you, with the name, I don't care. Listen, um, uh, our water chip, yes, that's it, it's broken. Go out into the wasteland and find another one. Yes, yes, that will be hard enough for him. He won't find one. I mean, I'm sure there are many, just go. <sniffs> Wonderful. And then you return, and he's like, oh, great. And he throws in his trash can, which is full of water chips. It's like, darn it. How did he find one? Well, uh, what is this? Mutants? Um, look, uh, you need to get back out there and stop all these mutants. I don't know how you're going to do it, and you're just one person, but just go. Just do it. Yes. Okay, Overseer. I believe it is very clear that you don't like me, and you don't want me around. And that is basically the, the whole premise. He's just kicking you out because he thinks you're trying to endanger the vault. Well, that's it. There are no more credits. Stop looking. Fallout was brought to you by Enderplay Productions, Team Fallout, and the letter Q. The letter Q. The letter Q. Have a nice day.